Hello class, uh, this is going to be our uh, demonstration for two-point perspective. So from one-point perspective to two-point perspective, two things change. Uh, primarily, um, we're going to go from having a single point, a uh, single vanishing point on our page to now having uh, two vanishing points, hence the one-point to two-point perspective. The point refers to the vanishing point in our drawing process. So we'll go ahead and start it off the same way. We'll come through here. Uh, with our ruler and then about the halfway point on our page we're going to go ahead and draw our horizon line and then now what we're going to do is we're going to draw in uh, two vanishing points from the beginning uh, these two vanishing points uh, are going to be uh, on pretty distant edges of the page from each other And we'll go ahead and start off with uh, what makes a two-point perspective drawing, a two-point perspective drawing, or a two-point perspective shape. Um, so we talked about in one-point perspective, how we approach a shape uh, basically from its face. We're approaching the shape head-on, uh, and we're always seeing the front face of an object. Uh, when we're talking about two-point perspective, we're always going to be approaching a shape from uh, an angle, right? So if we're talking about a box, uh, think about approaching a box from from its edge, from a corner, instead of approaching that uh, that shape from say uh, its front face, right? The way we start off the two-point perspective drawing is by actually uh, drawing in the leading edge, right? So this leading edge is basically we're gonna determine the corner that we're drawing from and then we're gonna draw, to draw our shape uh, and then kind of uh, draw our shape in perspective to each of the corners, right? So uh, we'll go ahead and start off with this leading edge and the principles here are still the same. The principles here are still the same. Uh, we're going to be um, Starting off here in the middle, and what we're gonna do here with our first shape is we're gonna take our small ruler, we're gonna drop in our leading edge, or our front facing edge, and in this first demonstration, I'm gonna drop in a line that's fairly tall, and it's like right in the middle of my, uh, my horizon line. So again, our horizon line is here. Smack dab in the middle. And then now, instead of drawing our little dots on our corners, we're gonna drop our, uh, our lines in on the top and bottom of our leading line. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our ruler, we're gonna line up our um, our first point on top of our on the top of our leading edge and then we're gonna shoot that to our left vanishing point. We're gonna do the same thing here for the bottom. And we're gonna repeat that process for the right vanishing point. So what we have here is basically kind of like this diamond shape, right? So just like we did before, uh, we're going to take our ruler and we're gonna draw a set of lines that are parallel to our leading line here. So we're gonna kind of slide along these this uh, set of vanishing lines to determine exactly how big we want our shape to be. Um, I'll keep it kind of short on this front face here and then as I draw uh, my second set of parallel lines again I can determine exactly how big I want this, this shape to be so uh, I really kind of want it to be a longer box so I'm going to throw my second parallel line a little bit further down that set of vanishing lines and then we're going to box off our shape right so now what we're going to do we're going to take a, a quick little pause and we're going to look at our shape and we're gonna kind of talk about what's what's happening here, right? So in the previous video, um, we said that whenever an object is directly on a horizon line um, or really close to the horizon line, we don't really see the top and we don't see the bottom, but we do see a face, like the front face and then a side face, right? In this case, uh, what we're seeing is basically two side faces. Uh, there is no front face because we're approaching this shape uh, from this leading edge, right? This, this is the leading edge. So whenever we're drawing our other shapes, uh, this leading edge can be uh, a variety of sizes. It can be a really long leading edge. It can be a really short leading edge. Um, but that's, that's gonna be entirely up to you, right? So we're gonna kind of try to repeat the process that we did in our previous video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put a shape um, above our horizon line. So we'll drop this line in here. And then we're going to try to do a shape uh, below the horizon line. So we'll do one, we'll 
you'll see right in here, just on the bottom edge. So we'll start with this top shape first. Again, we'll drop in our points from the top of our leading edge to the bottom of our leading edge. We're going to take those points and then we're going to run them back to our vanishing point on the left here. And then we're going to do the same thing for the right hand side. And then we're going to decide how big we want our shape to be. Uh, this one I do want it to be kind of like a, like a very uh, wide rectangle. So again, I'm going to drop in my first set of parallel lines, or my first other parallel line on the left hand side of this to determine how wide my object is going to be on this face. So side one, pretty wide, side two is going to be pretty wide as well. We could also even do uh, an overlap, so as you can see our, our uh, vanishing lines do overlap with our first shape. And that's okay if you wanted to kind of create like a stacked uh, drawing. That could be a nice challenge for you guys to play with uh, for the for the purposes of um, getting this this uh, demonstration a little bit quicker and a little bit more visibly. We're going to drop in our second parallel line uh, just to the left of our first shape here. Okay, so again, we are above our. Um, our horizon line here right we are above it so what does that mean if we're above our horizon line uh, typically we cannot see the top we can see uh, one side our second side and then we should be able to see the bottom so the tricky part with two-point perspective is drawing that bottom so this is where it gets a little bit tricky right so we're on our rightmost line here which is going to be our edge our second edge for our shape so the rightmost line will actually go to our leftmost vanishing point, right? So the right goes to the left. And then the opposite is going to be true for our left uh, vanishing point. Our left edge here is going to go to our right vanishing point. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler. We're going to line it up with our uh, left uh, vanishing point on the horizon line. We're going to run that back. And then now we're going to take our um, left uh, little edge here and we're going to take it or our left corner and we're going to take it to our right uh, vanishing point. So left goes to right, right goes to left and then where they intersect is going to be the back edge of our shape. So if we kind of put those dots in we can see exactly where that shape starts to starts to exist again uh, going back in and reinforcing those lines will help you uh, find your shape a little bit easier uh, and if you have an eraser uh, there isn't one in the kit but if you have just a regular pencil eraser you can you can erase uh, your vanishing lines so that just your shapes are existing in that space right so uh, we'll just go ahead and demo real quick how to do uh, this um, shape down here below the horizon line and what that looks like and then we'll also start to kind of look at uh, what happens to the sides of our shapes the closer we get uh, to our, um, our vanishing points. So we already know kind of the logic of what happens when we're to the left or to the right of a vanishing point, but when there's two vanishing points, uh, things start to get a little bit more extreme, a little bit more drastic. Uh, so we'll, we'll see here what happens the closer we get to a vanishing point. So in this case, um, my shape is going to be uh, below my horizon line. And we're going to be pretty close to that right vanishing point. So we'll do the same thing that we did before. We'll drop in our edge points. We're going to drop, draw the vanishing line to our vanishing point here. And then we'll do the same for the left side. Okay, and then now we want to do uh, again is determine how 
how wide we want our shape to be or how wide we want that one face to be and drop in a parallel. So this one's going to be a pretty narrow shape. And then we're going to drop in that back edge. Again, it needs to be parallel to our leading line or leading edge here. So now we have the bounds for our shape. We'll drop in our, um, our edge points here. And then like we said before, our left edge is going to recede to our uh, right vanishing point and our right edge is going to recede to our left vanishing point. So they go to opposites, right? Once we have the bounded edges, we're going to go to opposite sides. So we're going to take this left side to our right vanishing point and then we're going to take our right side to our left vanishing point. Okay. And we'll go ahead and reinforce that shape a little bit so we can see it better. You can see it's getting kind of hectic with just three shapes. So again, if you do have an eraser uh, handy, go ahead and use that to, to erase your vanishing lines. They don't need to be 100% erased. If they're still a little bit visible, that's okay. So we have uh, three separate examples again, right? So we'll go through it one more time and just uh, kind of talk about exactly what's happening here. So um, we'll start off with this first shape here. So in this first shape, we're above our horizon line. So what's happening here is that we're seeing our one side, our second side, the bottom, we're seeing the bottom, but we're not seeing the top, right? Because this object is above us. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the second shape. Our second shape is directly on the horizon line. And when it's directly on the horizon line, we cannot see the top, we cannot see the bottom, but we can see its two side faces. So we can see the side, we can see the side, not the top and the bottom. If an object is below our horizon line, we can see its top, we can see the two sides, but we cannot see underneath it. You cannot see the bottom. If something is below you, you can't see underneath it. Uh, your eye line is essentially the horizon line. 